Hello guys. So I just tried to do a reading at our start because I, was, I lost my shit. I lost it. Um, I'm doing a general love reading. A lot of people have been having issues with their booze. So I'm doing a general soulmate twin flame love reading. I'm not going to be able to do all of the elements. Light work drains the life out of you. Um, so trying to undo this crazy person's taxes and curses they've been putting on everybody is exhausting and I'm tired. Um, but we're going to talk about it. So why do I have a random narcissist that I don't even know trying to take on my identity right now? Cutting her hair, dyeing it to look like me, dressing like me. Uh, this is because narcissists triangulate people. What they do is they will keep all of their exes in touch. Anytime you've tried to break up with a narcissist, try to end things with a narcissist, it's, oh, but we need to stay in touch. Like, I, I need to know that I can reach out with you. They will try to keep you in the loop somehow. <sighs> this is because these people run purely on ego and they need everyone to see them as this amazing, desirable person because they have no ability to develop their own self-esteem. They need other people to feed them. So they want jealousy. They want people to be pissed off at them. They want people to uh, be trauma bonded to them. They live for these reactions. So what they do is they will keep in touch with all of their exes. As soon as they feel like their ex is trying to move on, they will hoover the ex. So it starts with, Hey, I was thinking of you, like, oh, I heard this song made me think of you, you know, something like, and then they slowly work their way in. Well, me and my boyfriend are having these problems right now. Is there any way I can talk to you? I just, you know, we're so close and I've just been really missing you and blah, blah, blah. And then it turns into, evolves into, I just really miss you. And I just, you know, I'm never going to love anybody like I loved you. Um, you're my soulmate you're the one I want to be with I'm just with this person just because this or that and I don't know how to get out of it they're kind of obsessed with me and I don't want to hurt their feelings they <sighs> trash people they are trash monster soulless people that do not change so they do this to the ex until they get the ex to get back involved and then as soon as the ex gets back some back involved they're going to bring it up to their significant other oh my god my ex is texting me again they're so obsessed with me oh my god all my friends i'm going to go tell them about how obsessed this ex is with me they just can't get enough of me um they do this on purpose to make themselves seem super desirable because if they did not manipulate and um gaslight and intentionally try to form soul bonds trauma bonds to people no one would want anything to do with them because they are trash monster people they have no real personalities they just have this fake self that they've been putting up and abusing everybody into thinking that they're good people this is what they do all of them are the same they're super easy and predictable uh super easy to notice super predictable um <laughs> I know them like the back of my hand at this point. So yes, they do this to make themselves see, seem desirable. So why is this random ass person trying to consume my identity, wants to wear my skin at this point? Um, I met their ex, was seeing them for a while. This person found out we met this time last year. This person found out about it February, March. Um, as soon as they found out about it, hoovered the ex back in, tried to interfere with their relationship, tried to mess it up, tried to tell the ex bad things about me, probably tried to give them advice and told them shitty things to do to me. This is narcissist. Um, while they're doing this, they're also probably telling their significant other, God, my crazy ex is texting me again. I just can't get rid of them. And they're telling their ex, I'm, I'm going to leave my boyfriend for you. I'm so in love with you. You need to run away with me. That other girl you're involved with, she doesn't care for you like I do. Blah, blah, blah. This is what they do. This is what they do. So she started this, interfering in their relationship, trying to mess it up. Um, February, March. Then she cheated on her boyfriend in March. Um, so there's that. And when things weren't going her way, she put love spells on her boyfriend, on her ex. Um, then she ended up cursing her ex, trying to curse a child. Then she hexed me, hexed my friend into trying to see if my friend would turn their back on me. And then she tried to hex my dog to make my dog sick. Um, 
that's what she did. So now at this point, she has been stalking me for so long. She one is obsessed with me and sees that I'm a happy, confident person. And in her sick narcissist brain, rather than realizing that I'm a happy, confident person that like has fun with other people just because I'm a nice person that loves themselves, doesn't register. They don't understand it, not capable of understanding it. All they see is she has short blonde hair, she dresses like this, she talks like this, so I'm gonna do that and that will make people like me. They're idiots. Um, so this is what this narcissist is doing, partly. This is part one. Part two, obsession with the ex, wants the ex back, not because she cares about the ex, she just wants to make people think that she's super desirable and her ex is like crazy about her. So um, she's setting it up to where if him and I get back together, again, it's been over a year since we've known each other, this is not a new thing. Uh, she's setting it up to where if him and I get back together, she's gonna be able to tell people, oh, he is so obsessed with me. He went and found a girl that looks just like me. Right, boo? Yeah. So there you go, hun. i I'm just gonna send this video to everybody you tell that to if that happens, so. Sorry, you're not that smart, boo. I'm in your head, I know what you're doing. You're super easy to protect. So I put up the full moon video, knowing she'd go look at it. She didn't at first, cause she is scared of me. Um, so I posted a post yesterday talking about how toxic people don't like to see happy people knowing it would trigger her and she went and watched my video. And you know what's so funny? Thing that made her upset because I know it's pissing her off because when she gets pissed off she's telling me stuff about herself I'm a psychic this is what I do so she watched the whole video in the video I talk about how narcissists abuse people use people end up alone eventually leave a trail of devastation I talk about the fact that she hexed several people cursed two people one of them being a child <sighs> do you want to know what this bitch is upset about and caused her to go pay a fourth person to hex me. That I mentioned plastic surgery. She doesn't want people to know she's had plastic surgery done. You told me exactly what you've done. You have breast implants, you have butt implants, you have cheek implants, you have lip filler, and you just went and got a, a nose consultation. You want a rhinoplasty now. Um, there you go. What else do you want to tell me? Oh, no, I'm not gonna say this. I'm not gonna say this to you. That would be mean and that would be bullying and I'm just calling you out. I'm not going to, I want to, I want to so bad. She told me something someone had told her because I keep calling this person ugly. They're, they don't understand their ego, their pure ego. They don't have a soul. They don't have any comprehension of like being a real person, being a kind person. No, completely over their head. So I keep calling this person ugly. I am not the type of person to abuse a woman for her looks. I'm calling this person ugly because they are so disgusting on the inside. Um, but this person is taking it as she needs to go get her nose done to look like me. So she told me about something somebody called her that upset her. And I could say it, I could, I want to. Should I be a mean girl? I mean, you're a mean girl, should I say it? You keep getting all that plastic surgery done, you're gonna end up looking like Michael Jackson. Your move, MJ. Okay. Now that we have blown the narcissist plan out of the water because she's a fucking child and it's easy to see what they're gonna do, easy as hell. And you know what's funny? At this point, if she tries to call me out or confront me, I'm just gonna let everyone know who it is. She's just gonna out herself, so checkmate. Okay, so everyone that has soulmates has twin flames. There are issues going on in the collective. Um, talk to multiple people. Everyone is in the same spot right now. So we're going to do a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates. Again, if like one thing doesn't resonate, but the rest does, um, it's, it's still reading for you. Don't be so closed minded, you know, like I may say something for one person in particular, but that doesn't mean that the rest doesn't resonate. Okay. 
this play 30 cards somebody is opening their mind I'm doing uh, this is like where you are in your um, soul contract I wanted to do like two or three cards and they gave me 35 just kidding they gave me eight uh, guys I'm so freaking wiped out I don't I need to take a break <laughs> need a break uh, it's hard being a light worker when you have to deal with idiots <sighs> do you guys have any idea the amount of light work it takes to undo a curse any idea it can take months to get rid of one it's a curse is so serious people like people don't understand what that black magic is real if you watch this and you go cast black magic on somebody have fun in hell um black magic is real a curse cursing somebody will make them live in a dark cloud to where uh they'll lose money people will start dying around them they'll uh develop addictions that they weren't into before um they just feel lost and depressed they'll start to want to commit suicide um all of their relationships will start to fall apart curses are very serious this bitch tried to curse a child a child that she did not know and the fact that I brought that up in the last video and the thing that got to her was that I casually mentioned that they get plastic surgery done to make themselves more attractive that is what bothered her that is the type of people these people are wake up wake up the amount of people that I used to be friends with that sided with my narcissist ex blows my mind blows my mind how stupid people are blows my mind anyway okay when you're abused you don't know i was and i was abused for five years okay well i did know i did know but honestly at the point i wanted to kill myself so bad that i didn't care um that's the truth of it i knew i knew it was not a good situation so you know <laughs> It's not the people that are being abused fault, but it is the fault of the people that sit around and watch this happen. Like honestly, some of my ex's friends saw the bruises on my face, saw the abuse, and they said nothing, and they are still friends with him. People that walk around pretending to be liberal feminist dudes. Seriously, you need Jesus. You need disgusting, awful, vile, gross. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I needed a therapy session. I'm taking this to YouTube. <laughs> like a normal person, okay? Just gonna air everybody's dirty laundry because fuck you, honestly. Like, I'm just trying to be a happy person living my own life and I just keep having these idiots, idiots, Get out of my face. I will throw more secrets in your face if you if you do it again. I told you. I have told you in every video. I'm not playing with you. I will ruin your life if you continue to hex and curse people. Sorry, not sorry. Somebody is trying to uh, look at things from a new perspective. Uh, they're trying to rebuild they're kind of realizing that they were stuck um they're kind of like in a funk they were stuck in their uh old ways that weren't really serving them anymore they weren't able to grow so they're reevaluating uh people they've been hanging out with they're reevaluating places they go hobbies like they're taking a deeper look at what they need to change in their life um they're also doing some healing uh doing some um inner child work yeah is this is somebody is really taking the time to reevaluate where they are in life where they want to go what they've been doing wrong what they need to change and they're trying to heal they're trying to 
take the time to realize why do I keep sabotaging myself? Why do I keep pushing people away that would be good to me? This is that energy. And they're realizing that they um, do want commitment. They wanna come in fast to build something stable. Uh, this is like, um, obviously building its architect, but I keep getting, somebody that's watching these videos is like into like Egyptian, um, ancient Egypt. Yeah, that's what's going on, guys. They're they're just trying to figure their lives out, and they're being idiots, which is typical. Everyone is stupid. Sick of everybody. Guys, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just very tired, and I'm annoyed as hell. Imagine, imagine someone that you have never met trying to look like you and talk like you and, like, paying people to hex you for just doing you. Imagine what that is like. That's what I'm dealing with right now. On top of having to undo curses, which is exhausting. I feel like I haven't slept in months. When I lean on faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Exactly. That is what is happening right now. People just need to have faith and stop trying to make things happen the way you want them to happen. The more that you hold on to what you want to happen when you're trying to manifest, the longer the universe is going to make you wait. You have to surrender. You have to surrender understand that you are not in charge the universe the spirit is spirit is in charge god whatever you want to call it the higher powers are in charge you are a participant an active participant and you manifest and create your own reality but that does not mean that oh i want a relationship now so i get one right now no that means that you prepare yourself for their relationship, you learn to love yourself, and you understand that, you know, your partner is not part of you. They are their own person and they may have their own shit they have to deal with and stop taking everything so personally. Set boundaries and if this person is crossing your boundaries, set boundaries with them, <sighs> but don't take things so personal. If someone is not able to give the emotional support that you need. You need to set boundaries with them and then give yourself that emotional support. <sighs> I'm gonna have an attitude in this whole reading, guys. I'm trying not to. I'm just so, I'm not annoyed with soulmates or twin flames. I'm just annoyed that I am put in this situation where all I really, I just wanna be like a happy like person sharing love and light with people and I just attract garbage trash garbage people trash garbage nar narcissists that want to they are thieves of joy is what they are they suck they're the worst they don't get better they manipulate you and act like they're sad they they don't they're not sad they don't give two fucks if you if you stop talking to the narcissist they're going to find someone to replace you. They probably already have five people lined up and they've already been feeding these people stories that you're crazy and abusive anyway. My ex did this to me. He started telling people that I was racist. Um, that was his like favorite thing to tell people is that I was like a country from the country, country hillbilly and I was racist and my whole family was racist. Like, no, dude, you were abusive as hell and my family still accepted you because they are good people that believe people can change um unfortunately because you did not because once again garbage trash scum of the earth never gonna change gonna die alone going to hell type person that's what they are um you want to know more about what i'm talking about go watch my full moon video um if you don't want to know the spell, you just want information on that, and I think it's like nine, 10 minutes in, eight, nine, 10 minutes and go. I've already talked about this stuff. Jeez. Sick and tired. Garbage trash people. Let's collect them and put them on garbage island away from everyone else. You guys can go breed well, no, preferably not breed because you destroy your children. Narcissists should not have children. Dear God, you abuse those poor children to where they either turn into you or they hate you and they're emotionally damaged. Um, you guys just suck all around. Just suck that happiness right out of anyone who's around you. You're just garbage. Anyway, 
when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. The universe has my back. Both of these have owls. So look into what owls are. Wise. Universal truths. Have faith. Before things manifest, the universe will set you up to think that it's not going to manifest. And that is because you need to show that you have faith. You need to show that you trust the universe, that you trust in yourself, really. If you try to manifest and then you keep thinking that it's not going to happen and you keep obsessing about when it's going to happen, that is just telling yourself and the universe that you don't trust your ability to manifest, you don't trust your ability to create the world, and you don't trust the universe to follow through, um, which is counterproductive. Stop. Just chill out. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Exactly. If you're focused on this person is annoying me right now, I don't want them in my life anymore. Don't be surprised when the relationship falls apart. Uh, I surrender to a power greater than me. Told you. Exactly. <sighs> I need a nap. <laughs> I am so tired. And it's like the type of tired that sleeping will not fix because I am soul tired. Imagine. Imagine what I have to deal with. Single dog mom. Crazy people left and right. Time to do light work for ungrateful idiots. Serious. <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. Who cares? Who cares anymore? Here, look at my inspirational shirt. Can you see it? I'll be myself. I am a hot mess, is what I am. I don't care who knows it. Okay, there's been fighting. <laughs> oh, this is the Rider Weight, it's the OG deck. I'm kind of excited. There's been some fighting, there's been some chaos, there's been people interfering. Um, but somebody wants to make a love offer. The page, um, somebody wants to communicate their feelings, uh, make some type of love offer. Um, because they want a new beginning. They're kind of embarking on a new, like, spiritual, passionate uh, journey. They want a new beginning. Uh, they kind of want to start over. But with the Page of Cups, um, pages are messages. But, like, as a person, this is someone that's childish. Like, they're offering the cup, but there's a fish in it. So it's, like, not offering much. Yeah, because they want to work things out. This is also like uh, angels interfering. Um, temperance is the opposite of the devil. So the devil is like excess. Temperance is like working things out, you know. Healthy balance. Someone is planting the seeds, but they're not really taking action. Because they want to be able to give back. So they want a new uh, beginning. They do want to work things out, but they feel like they don't have a lot to offer right now. So they're waiting because they, they want to give back. They want to make an offer that um, this is this is an energy. Someone was over giving. Someone was taking and not really um, giving back. This person realizes that and they're waiting right now because they, they want to be able to give back. And right now they feel like because this, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of chaos. They're not really able to offer much. And I'm going to use another deck and just see. <sighs> yeah. Waiting. They're waiting because this is planting seeds. I know, Callie. 
I'm sick of it too. She's tired of it. We're all tired of it. Narcissist, please report to your home on Trash Island and leave the rest of us healthy, happy people alone to live our lives in peace. We're all sick of you. <sighs> Seven of Pentacles, waiting, planting the seeds, not taking action because they know that their happiness is with you. They know that their ultimate happiness, you're the one that they want to be with, they want to build with. Like, look at them, lovers in the tree, just happy, having a great time there. Um, so there's been fighting, there's been chaos, there's been people interfering, and they're waiting right now. They know that their happiness is with you. They know that this is what they want, who they want to be with. Um, but there's burdens they need to lay down first because they want victory this time. This has been an in and out person. Um, there's been other things that are interfering with the re relationship that you're not aware of, um, or maybe you are aware of, but there's five of wands is chaos and it's like other people being involved. So this person wants victory. They want, when they come back, they want it to last. They want it to be real. They don't want to do it in and out anymore. They want to come in and make a real offer. So they're waiting right now because there are things in their life that are keeping them stuck that they need to release themselves from. They're working on that right now. And that's why they're kind of, I have friends that have tw that are twin flames. I mean, they they go back and forth with it. If I've told you that you're a twin flame, just listen to me. Guys, just listen to me. I try to help people and I try to like, I know what's gonna happen most of the time and I will, I don't like to interrupt people's karma, so I will not just, sometimes I will just flat out tell you and people ignore me, uh, but I will drop hints here and there and I'll try to sprinkle them in to give you the chance to do your own karma because I don't want to interrupt your karma. People never listen to me and then they come back and they say that I was right. Just listen to me the first time, please. I know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Almost every twin flame that I know right now is in separation. They are squabbling with their uh, masculine. Um, it's just part of the collective. The masculine has shit they're dealing with right now. Feminine energy. You guys just focus on yourself and set boundaries. So if the masculine is interrupting your peace, set a boundary and be firm in it. Um, you don't have to wait around for them to, don't, don't wait around for anybody. Continue on with your life and don't allow people to violate your boundaries, but don't, Give, if this is someone you really want to be with and you do love, don't give up on them just yet. Have some faith in the universe. Have some faith that things are going to turn around. Don't just as soon as things look bad, blah, whatever. Like, have some faith. Yeah, they want to tell the truth about their feelings. Um, page of Swords is also um, two pages. So communicating feelings truthfully. Page of Swords is also uh, watching and learning. So this can be like watching your social media, maybe trying to learn the best way to come in with this love offer since they've messed up in the past. Yeah, because they wanna give justice. They want to cut these karmic ties, well, not karmic ties, but karmic cycles you guys have been in because it's been, it's typical of twin flames. It's, you come together, you squabble, you break up. You come together, you squabble, you break up. It's just, it's how it goes. You're eventually gonna come together and things are gonna be amazing and you're gonna be like happiest you've ever been. It's the type of love people dream about, twin flame love, but you have to sort your shit before you can get together. And sometimes that means being patient while someone else sorts their shit. Love is patient, love is kind, you know? <laughs> It just, it is what it is. Sometimes the universe just wants you to be patient. Sometimes it's divine timing. Sometimes it's just people have shit going on. People have crazy people putting curses on them. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Okay. Okay, with Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is putting in the work to become a king. They don't want to come in as a knight. They don't want to come in as a page. They want to be a king this time. They want to be a man. They want to be a man, woman. Women can be masculine. Um, they want to be the person that you deserve. They know that they've messed up. They know that they 
have treated you poorly. They have had other stuff going on that caused them to put the relationship on the back burner. Also may not have realized the importance of the relationship because they had other stuff going on in their life, but they understand and they're sorting their stuff out because they want to do the right thing. They want to work on things and they're working on themselves. They're trying to be better people. Find their passion in life. Pursue things passionately. And with temperance, um, king of swords, ace of swords. It's funny that we have uh, ace and king of wands. So this is completion. This is ace to the king. Um, and then swords ace to the king um having clarity cutting things out speaking your truth taking initiative um someone is realizing that they want to work things with out with you so they're speaking their truth in their life they're cutting things out that need to be cut out they're getting rid of people that have interfered um in the relationship things that have interfered in the relationship things that they are giving their attention to and ignoring the relationship they are taking care of that because they want to come forward to work things out they are actively working to come back it's just not apparent in your 3d world because you need to have some faith and stop trying to control everything the more you try to control and hold on to what you want the more the universe will make you wait because the ultimate test in a soulmate twin flame is to surrender surrender with anything you are trying to manifest you have to surrender to the universe um, you have to stop fighting stop it's like it's like you know you're floating down the river and what you're trying to do right now is hold on to the bank and you're holding and the current is pulling you and you're aggressively holding onto like a tree or something and if you would just let go and flow you'd get to where you need to be it looks better than where you want to be so that's just stop trying to control everything don't feel like you need to be in touch with your soulmate your twin flame it's about finding yourself and loving yourself is what it's really about when you are whole on the inside they will just naturally float to you so if things are not working it is because one or both of you have stuff you need to focus on just work on yourself stop being in this mentality that things need to be perfect right now um Yes, the twin flame journey is up and down and it is chaotic and it sucks sometimes, but it will be worth it. And the whole journey is to teach you to love yourself and to let go of everything that has kept you from being yourself. That is all you're doing. So you are just learning to love yourself as fiercely um, as you obviously love this other person because people they wouldn't be getting under your skin this much if you didn't love them, obviously. So stop lying to yourself. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. We now have all the, uh, not Ace, Page. We have all the pages except for the Page of Wands. So serious communication, serious offers coming in, communicating about feelings, communicating about the truth, and wanting to apologize, offer. This can be a gift. This can be an offer of commitment. This is offering something physical, tangible in the 3D, but they're not sure how to go about it. They're waiting right now because they want to come in with an offer. They want to uh, ask for a relationship. They want to apologize for what they've done. They're not sure how to do it. They're trying to get themselves together. And they're also actively working to create space in their life for the relationship. And Six of Pentacles. Five of Wands, exactly. We started We started and ended with the Five of Wands. There's been some type of fighting that has there this can be fighting between you and this person, but I really take this as there is chaos in their life. There are things that they really need to deal with um, before they can give back. So this is like time, money, uh, energy, it's tangible. So um there's, there are things going on that you may not be aware of that is keeping this person from being able to be with you right now, but they are working on it. It's 
since dust all over the damn place. Okay. Romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. They're coming back. It's not over. Everyone keeps saying it's over. It's not over. You know it's not over and that's why you're annoyed. Um, love makes a difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Exactly. Love, real love, soul love is healing. People deal with karmic relationships to hurt you and mold you and toughen you up and have, you know, realizations about what it is you want and what you don't want. Like, think about the karmic partners that you were with at one point and, like, were devastated that things didn't work. Do you really want to be with them now? Ew. <laughs> I honestly can't think of any of my exes that I'm like, oh, I wish like, no, <laughs> no, thank you. Um, karmic partners are there so that you learn lessons. Um, they're a necessary part of life. You can't come into life and get everything you want and automatically meet your soulmate. Like then you wouldn't grow as a person and your lifetime would be completely pointless. Like you have to grow, you have to go through shit. It's life. Like you signed up for this. That is the important thing to remember is that you and your soul family and your council, you all have like you sit in a boardroom <laughs> and this is all kept in your Akashic records too. If you meditate, people astral project to their Akashic records and all this information is kept your past lives, future lives. Like there's a library in the sky of your soul path and journey and all of your past lives that you can access through your spirituality. Um, I kid you not. I kid you not. Um, so you agreed to this. You sat with your parents, with your future children, with your future children's children, with, um, I don't know, your guardian angel. You sat with everybody and you talked about what you wanted to accomplish. You made agreements, even the karmics, even the karmics you guys met in soul level. And this is what I need to learn this lifetime. This is what you need to learn. Okay, we're gonna meet up at this point and teach each other. And then we're gonna fall apart and find our real matches. This is, there is a purpose to everything. Stop being so daft to think that things just happen and it is what it is. And I'm just gonna go back to my shitty ex if this doesn't work out. Like. Stop. Calm your tits. Um, there's a greater purpose to life. Open your mind a little bit. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Exactly. The person that caused pain in the relationship that ran from the relationship wants to come back, wants to have a romantic encounter. Um, love is going to heal the issues that you guys have been having because deep down you love each other and love conquers all. Love conquers all. If you truly love somebody, really love somebody, um, and they love you back, you will heal all of your wounds. It is worth the bullshit you have to go through. You go through this so that you can come together and have a peaceful union because if they were still dealing with their trash garbage bag X, while you guys were in a relationship, it wouldn't work out, obviously. So they've got to run their karma with their garbage <laughs> so that they can figure out that they're garbage and this is the person I really want to be with. It is what it is. Okay, we're going to do bottom of the deck. Um, willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Somebody wants to express their feelings, wants to work things out. They're going to come back. They're just dealing with some shit right now. They're getting ready. They're actively... <sighs> Trust that stuff happens that you don't know about. They're coming back to make an offer. Boom. What did I say? This was this was an interesting time together, guys. I hope everyone's doing great. <laughs> Better than me. <laughs> Having to deal with a bunch of idiots. I mean, I'm fine. I'm just tired. And, like, I'm just, like, <laughs> you know, uh, the video, what's her name? Jasmine. Um where she does the, again, again, like that's just how I feel every time a narcissist pops up in my life. I can spot them from a mile away and I'm just like, oh God, trash, garbage, monster, here we go again. They're very predictable though, very easy to mess with. I mean, don't mess with someone that's psychotic, but I know what I'm doing and I'm slaying demons. Mm. I'm a demon slayer, so... 
I'm just gonna keep telling demon secrets until she relents and stops trying to use black magic on people. So who knows, who knows what she'll have me let you guys know next. We'll just make that a thing. At the beginning of every video I do from now on, I will let you know what's going on with garbage person's life. <sighs> have a good week, guys. Good day.